Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I thought I'd make a little video today because I'm making something, and uh, I think it'd be kind of cool to explain this because it's a pretty common part that you can buy and just make stuff cheap. I'm actually, as you can see here, let me see if I can get this out. I'm making this panel here for easy access in the back of my uh, mobile recording rig, right? 14 XLR female inputs. And the thing is, these are the, uh, let me get this camera around. These are the kind where it just has a, just a basic connection in the back, right? Now, after a, uh, you know, horrible fail, beforehand I had to literally remove cable from every single one of these I of course just soldered it in and the cable would just crimp and it would look terrible so I'm gonna show you a way here I've uh, finished it right now this is the other one where the cable won't crimp and it's a pretty cool uh, solution for just making your own connection with these type of connectors and it'll be stable and won't crimp and destroy your cable and it'll last forever, essentially. So uh, I just kind of want to break down how I'm doing this. And um, I think it's a really cost effective way to, you know, build something like this. If you're an audio guy, uh, shit, I mean, you know how much money this costs and uh, doing everything you can to save a buck is uh, well worth it. So... I'll just kind of break down some of the things I'm here, you know, using. Obviously, you're going to need, you know, solder gun, you know, um, solder, right? You're going to need some, uh, maybe some electrical tape, I don't know. Um, I'm actually using this stuff called shrink tube. Uh, what it is, is it'll fit around a cable. I don't know if I can focus there. And when you apply heat to it, it'll actually shrink down. You give it a few minutes and then it kind of toughens up and it's uh, pretty pretty stiff and it's a really great way to just make a connection um, even after you've soldered a, uh, two joints together. So this stuff is uh, crucial for that. I got my little crude, very crude <laughs> cable holder right here. Uh, whatever, whatever you can use to make something like that. Just some tools and whatnot, a cable cutter, right? I got my, uh, this is actually pretty cool little solder gun it's butane ran so you can actually uh, use this to apply the heat as well which is pretty cool a cup of tea because why not and um, my little cable snippers so now that I've gone over kind of everything I got here of course you got to have this stuff for wiping your solder off your tip um, can't really remember the name of that right now I'll, I'll throw it in the description anyways this is sort of the final way it's going to look. As you can see, it's a pretty stiff joint. That's not going to cramp. It's not going to you know destroy your connection. So I'll uh, do a little time lapse here and just kind of show you and maybe stop at points and explain what the process is and how to really accomplish it. And I think uh, it'd be really useful. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. All right, so this is the kind of a beginning of it. I'm just cutting some shrink tube here, cutting it to size. I'm fitting it over the positive cable first, which is connection two. And you just kind of want to get it in place. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm really going to go over how to solder. I'm not really a, a professional at that, but I've already got some solder melted into the joint itself. So I'm really just applying some heat here and um, just fusing them together and once it's in there, you just kind of let back. Let it dry kind of for a second. Connection's made. Then you want to kind of place the shrink tube over the connection. That way you have it around the actual joint and the cable. And that's what's going to create a sort of stiff connection at that point. And that's the kind of critical point there between the two. So you kind of just redo that method for all three of these. As you can see here. So again, just applying some heat. And the connection's made. 
So I gotta speed this section up a little bit. I actually kind of shrunk that tube a little bit as I was applying heat. So I had to kind of, you know, pull out that part that was kind of dipped in there a little bit. But it turned out fine. Slid it over, good to go. And that was uh, wire number three, your negative. And then now we're gonna go to the ground wire. Which is pin number one and same thing apply some heat and yeah it should be good to go so now you have all three of the first shrink tubes on and that's what you want to start with now once you have all three of these connections made you'll see here that i'm going to apply heat to them i have this little opening on the side of my solder gun kind of convenient for this uh, you can use like a heat gun or a light i don't know a lighter it'll work but it's kind of impractical for this particular uh, application so i found this just very convenient and you can see it just kind of shrinks down and um, just tightens up over it. It's pretty cool. So yeah, once that's done, it'll take like a ah, it take like less than a minute, and it'll be dry, and it'll harden up. So now I have a bigger piece of shrink sh tubing that I'm applying over the three. So now I'm gonna heat that up, and then let that dry over the other three so now we're going to have a really just solid hold on that connection so this is going to prevent any kind of you know crimping or, or anything like that you know this is going to solve that issue of my you know of the weight of the cable holding down on the actual connection and causing it to you know uh, dislocate or you know whatever be a uh, pain in the ass problem that you'll continue to have um, but this method will definitely take care of that yep so I apply the heat kind of just set the tubing in there and my little holder and you know good to go just let it dry for a second and ready to work on the next all right so yeah I hope that uh you know that video turned out somewhat decent where you could see what I'm doing um, but yeah, so here's the final, final, uh, thing here again, again, you know, this was the connection I just did. It's already pretty stiff after it, uh, took a little time to dry. So yeah, it's just, like I said, this is a pretty, pretty good, just straightforward method of just, um, using the seed shrink tube, you know, putting three smaller heat shrink tubes and then one big one around that all and then just have it all fused together and uh you'll you'll have a solid connection that's never going to fail on you so uh um, you know hey when you got to save cash and you got to build panels yourself you know hey it's a pain in the ass you got to do this uh, long process but hey you know at the end of the day it's worth it you're going to save a lot of money um I'm, you know i might take you some cash to invest in all the initial tools you know solder gun and you know a wire stripper and all that but as you get going, this is definitely going to save you some, some, uh, some money. So yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, only second video I'm really going to add to this channel. I, I don't know. I'm going to plan on doing more videos, uh, everything audio related, probably some, maybe some live tracking of, uh, artists I work with. Um, so we'll see. We're just going to keep it going. So if you're uh, interested in any kind of just maybe some electronics having to do with audio or builds or uh, just recording, maybe I'll do reviews of stuff, you know, just subscribe and uh, I don't know, maybe leave some suggestions. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, you guys take it easy.